Hello and welcome to my first uh, Oracle Real Application Cluster uh, video training. Um, as I promised, uh, I will try to install the Oracle uh, Real Application Cluster 12C on Oracle Linux 7 using uh, VMware. So uh, before I start, there's a couple of things I need just to let you know before we start. Uh, you need these uh, software files and packages, uh, database and grid. Uh, this is uh, a grid infrastructure, and this is a database. We'll see. Uh, and you need also the ISO file uh, operating system as an ISO file, and uh, you need also to have a good CPU. I have uh, i7. Um, enough memory and enough uh, disk space on your laptop or PC so this is what you what this is what all you need so let's get started first I need just to create um, a virtual machine a new virtual machine uh, okay from here you can create you have two option two options one uh, typical custom, I will choose um, typical. Uh, from here, you have also three options. From here, you can just install from um, your disk, uh, uh, your uh, DVD drive, or you can install from ISO. So I will choose the ISO. I put it in desktop, this one. Okay, and it, it's detected. By default, Oracle Linux 16-bit, 64-bit detected. Next, here you can name it Rack One. This is optional. You can put what you need, but to know which rack we are working on, so you can write like this. Next, here you can just uh, put the size of virtual disk. It's not an actual; it's a virtual, so it's a file. So store virtual disk as a single file. Choose this one; it's better for performance. So uh, next, from here you can customize the virtual hardware, your memory. Let's say I need okay, like this, and uh, the CPU I will put because I have enough CPU. Uh, this one okay. Network adapter. Okay, I will remove uh, printer. I will put also, you can see here, I have just one, I need to add another one. Mm, next, uh, I will choose, okay, custom specific virtual network. I will choose, okay, VM, VNet, host only. Finished. And this one, I don't need it to be uh, an ad. I will put it as a bridge. And that's it. Close. And here, when you check this power on the virtual machine after creation, it means after create all these virtual uh, uh, hardware and everything, just power on the virtual machine to start the operating system installation. So when I click finish, the VMware will start running the virtual machine. As we see here. Okay, <clears throat> I will choose first option. Okay, sometimes take a little bit time because it's reading. Okay, so as you see, um, it's loading. Okay, starting. Okay. 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 We 
you can see here okay uh, it's started I will put the virtual machine in full screen mode um, you can see here with it's only for the default continue so you can see here okay we can just so the time here is important because music okay done and uh, the keyboard language support okay installation sources okay automatic installation media it's okay that's fine um okay software selection i will need it server with gui so from here uh, I have a document to so choose. Okay, server with GUI, choose it. Um, hardware monitoring utility. Um, large system performance. Large system performance. The other one, network file system clients. Network file system. And performance tools and also um, compatibility library, compatibility library and development tools. That's fine. Okay. All of them done. So this is also done. Let's uh, check also the here. I will change it to rack one. So, rack one, apply. Then the Ethernet and uh, the configuration for the network, I will do it later. But uh, here, no need for anything, I guess. Okay, the installation. Okay, and this one. One. Um, okay. This one, I'll choose this one. Okay. Okay. The installation. So, here I can just specify the, the root password. You need to, I will not put it too complex. If you put this, you need to keep it somewhere, but uh, don't forget it because it's important. It's allow you to enter the, um, the, the operating system as a super user, but you can do everything there. Without it, you, you, ha you don't have the bare machine or the privileges to do anything there. So don't. Done. Okay. Uh, user creation. I will do like admin and put password also the same. Okay. Done. Done. And uh, I will sub the video. Um, uh, the recording. I will sub the recording uh, until uh, the installation finished and then I will return back so as uh, as we see um, the um, installation right now it's uh, done so uh, you need just to reboot the operating system to boot up Okay. I will uh, stop here just to finish the make sure that the rating system is working fine without any problem. I will put it in full screen mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
okay uh, I will just accept them and uh, the network okay I will customize it later okay finish configuration we should be the operating system started normally to login screen okay from here you can just enter the password okay the operating system is good okay loading mm. okay this is the disk group before i start i just used to change the um, so previous okay next uh, Okay. Close. From here, um, let's change the profile, the color. I like this. Uh, make sure that the root user is also working uh, fine. Okay. Good. So um, I will not uh, continue because the, I don't need, I don't like to upload a, a, a long uh, video. It uh, will be tough for you, so I will wait. Um, I will stop here and then I will continue later, and I will show you in the next video how to configure the network, all this stuff to be ready to to install the pre application cluster. So be tuned and see you next video. Thank you.